Hey you guys, welcome to the video. My name's Calm Cool Savage, and you're watching CCS TV. In this video right here, I'm gonna show you how to fix encoder overload on OBS. So if you go live and you get a message that says encoding overloaded, consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset, then all your viewers are gonna see is just your stream lagging and stuttering. But don't worry you guys, I got some tips that will help fix the encoder overload, as well as some tips that helped me as a streamer when I started out. Before we get into the video, hit up the like button and hit up the sub button. It really helps out the channel. Thanks again you guys. Your stream's stuttering, you're getting encoder overload, it's blurry, your bitrate's flashing red and yellow. These are all problems that we have as streamers when we're first starting out. The first thing you're going to want to do to fix an encoder overload on OBS is change your encoder presets and use hardware encoding. So in OBS, go to File, Settings, then go to Output. If your encoder down here says X264, then this is 100% the problem. You're usually going to have two options, X264 and then whatever your graphics card encoder is. Mine's an AMD, so it's going to say AMD Advanced Media Framework. So choose whatever the second option is, just don't use X264. If you changed your encoder preset, but you're still getting the encoder overload, then you might want to try reducing output resolution and lowering frame rate. To do this, go to your video settings in OBS. Right here where it says output scaled resolution, you might want to try changing this down to 720. Right now I'm recording, so I can't show you the different resolutions, but when I record, I usually record at 1080p, and when I stream, I have to stream at 720p, so I usually downscale this. And then right down here is your FPS. I recommend 30 FPS, but if your PC is good enough, then go ahead with 60 FPS. So by this point, if you still haven't fixed your encoder overload, I still got a few more tips for you guys about the B frames, the key frames, the bit rate, and all that. And this may help fix your encoder overload as well. This page here helps with Twitch encoding and I will leave the link in the description. Whether your encoder was Navita or AMD, you should stick to trying out these presets down below. I wouldn't recommend the X24 presets. Do not look at these. So for the presets that I recommended to fix your encoder overload, you would scroll down and choose 720p by 30 FPS. For this, Twitch recommends a bitrate of 3000. Rate control CBR, keyframes 2 seconds, preset quality B frames 2. Now if you choose 60 FPS, this would be your presets right here. If you want to see a little bit more about that, check the link in the description. Now for some final tips that could help you guys out and maybe save someone's stream out there is to open OBS as an administrator. Right click OBS and click on run as administrator. Super simple, super easy. And the last tip I got for you guys is to disable the preview in OBS. Sometimes by right clicking the preview and clicking enable preview to disable it will take your CPU down a little bit and maybe take that encoder overload a little bit easier. And one thing I almost forgot to mention is lower the resolution on your webcam. If your PC is not good enough, you don't really need a 1080p webcam. Just lower it to 720p. So there you have it, you guys. That's how to fix encoder overload on OBS. I hope some of these tips help you guys fix your streams as they helped me fix my streams when I first started out. If you have any questions or you need a little bit more help, leave a comment down below. Let's have a conversation down there. And I make a lot of stream support videos to help small streamers alike, so if you guys are interested in those videos, check out the playlists above. If you're interested in working with me or collabing, hit me up in my Discord. I'm always down to network. I stream over at twitch.tv slash calmcoolsavage. Come on over, check out the stream, and drop a follow. I would love to see you in the chat. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, hit up the like button, hit up that sub button, Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it savage.